Okay, it's chime time again. Lighting keeps changing because the sun is moving so fast. It's winter time. Anyway, um, today we're going to be discussing plastic bags and how bad they are for the environment. However, these uh, Glad freezer bags are totally reusable and sustainable, depending on how much of a wook you are. <laughs> anyway, so I like to actually use freezer bags because uh, I, you know, sometimes there's like a, a food or something that's in some other packaging or anything of that nature. And I will reuse the bags that I put my festival clothes in for the actual freezer. So just be a wook, you know, who knew? Um, and everyone's always asking me like, uh, how do you travel on an airplane with just like a, a carry on and one check bag? and have your tent and everything you need, your clothes and toiletries, all, all that stuff. How do you do it? So this video is also going to be discussing that stuff too. Um, and I have this vintage turbo branded bag that I put everything in. It's just a duffel. It's just a duffel. This is my carry-on. Now there's also like, you also get a personal item, which could be like a purse or a little backpack. So those two things can go on the local flights here in the United States, you know, for free and fairly easily. Uh, as long as they're this size and not one of those rolly suitcases, uh, the attendants usually don't make you check it. And these are the right dimensions where you just either shove it in like straight heads up on a larger plane or um, shoved in this way. Uh, side to side on like the smaller, you know, local planes. Like if you're going only like an hour or two, you, you might get like a small plane. If you're going like um, three to six hours, yeah, you, you'll, you'll um, you can put it in deep because it's like a lot bigger of a plane. Now the dimensions on this little bad boy, um, like about full are 18 inches long. Uh, by 10 inches wide, I mean, inclu including this little um, sack in the front. Um, if you do have it full, it's going to be about 12 inches. So you get another two inches out of there. And then how high it is, is about another 11 inches. And I swear this is like the golden size for being last in line with economy uh, boarding tickets, like group five, group D or whatever, um, looking for, for space to just chuck this in. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, but also another one of my secret tricks is when all the storage compartments are full, the second you get on the plane, when you're walking past first class, just throw it in. They're all sitting down, just check to see if everyone's seated, it's not like they're gonna need any more fucking luggage out of nowhere. Oops, sorry for that one curse word. Um, it's not like they're gonna manifest extra luggage out of nowhere, so just throw it in. Don't feel bad. And I mean, if, if one of the seats is empty, maybe someone's coming late, maybe see if there's more room than just their one checked bag or, or their one uh, carry-on bag, and then you should be set. And it's totally easier than carrying anything in a slow moving line down the entire uh, aisle, you know, when you're sitting all the way back in the plane because you bought economy tickets so you could afford to go to all these festivals. Uh, all you do is just cruise down the aisle and bloop, grab it at the last second and walk out and everyone looks at you like, I wish I did that. <laughs> so there you have it, here's the bag. Um, back to the reusable plastic bags. Uh, as you can see, I will put things like individual outfits and you've probably seen the uh, stretchy mermaids with um, the tank, green tank top under and my, my lovely um, Hawaiian shirt made of great silk. And so I'll, I'll put like individual outfits like this might be like a Thursday or Friday outfit uh, for Halloween, by the way. And then uh, I'll have like another bag that's just strictly underwear. And what's really good about 
keeping these in bags is not only do they fit better in the turbo bag, uh, but they also stay like dry, you know, like sometimes like Florida, for example, super humid, Michigan, super humid. I just came back from California, not so humid. So this wasn't a problem, but it, like Canada was extra humid. All my clothes got soaked just staying in the bag because it rained so, so much. So um, this really helps keep you ultra comfortable and there's nothing like putting on dry clothes, especially when you've been wet or when you first wake up. That's an extremely underrated and overlooked uh, feeling. Great sensation, very sobering. Uh, also special for Hula, um, we have Dragon Ball Z, Goku, and Vegeta stretchy uh, uppers and, and bottoms. And that's going to be my cosplay. I also have a cool wig that goes with it. I'm going to have the hair too. Um, a little bit more about the clothing I use. I use Red Wing brand uh, wool socks. They really keep your feet um, from getting, I, I think what it's called, like, chacking or something uh but anyway like your feet sweat the moisture comes from your body let alone from the outside uh or chafing and it this keeps you from getting blisters at festivals stop using cotton that stuff's gross and terrible and you just want to throw that away <laughs> Um, and then lastly i went to uniqlo and i got their extra warm um I have two of them. They're extra warm uh, leggings and whatever the equivalent of leggings that goes over your chest. They're like Under Armour, they work just as good. They're so much cheaper, I think, I hope. Um, anyway, I paid like 20 bucks uh, per item. There's four items here. The blue ones are gonna be really good to go underneath the uh, Dragon Ball Z costumes for Halloween. And then the gray ones are extra, extra warm when I'm just frozen. <laughs> so lastly, I'm gonna put these things in the bag for you so you can see how everything's so compact. And you know, what is cool is like, say, um, say there's like a little bit of air in here uh, and you wanna get the air out, you just, to, to fit it even better, you open up a corner and you find a cushion, which is a little bit harder when you're at the festival and you sit on it and you get the air out, like the cushion pushes up, your butt pushes down, and then you zip it, and it's even skinnier than it was before. Um, so like I was saying, this is a little bit harder to do when you're at the festival, you know, keeping organized and stuff, and my only tip for that is just do this a lot and you'll get really good. It'll be second nature. Um, go to a lot of festivals, have a lot of fun, you know, sometimes like I just spend all my money <laughs> so I could do this, <laughs> you know, I spend all my money on festivals, uh, so I could do this over and over again. And it seems like I'm constantly coming home and unpacking so that I can repack and go away on the next weekend. And then when I actually am home on weekends, I'm trying to relax, but also doing this. Like, this is why all these films are coming out, uh, you know, so continuously one after another. And is that it? Um, yeah, that is, that is really it. So you have all those clothes, and that's like an outfit for um, one, two, three. That's three outfits. Uh, warm weather clothing unders so like call those pajamas you know two pairs of pajamas um all your underwear and all your socks and boom that's you know you might have to reuse your pajamas twice <laughs> or, or once i mean um but that's that's a three-day weekend you know and there's still tons of room there's still tons of room and on top of that, I even have um, all my medications and 
all my uh, like toothbrushes and toiletries and even an extra beef jerky in there. And that's all in one of these side containers. And then I still have the whole front pouch to fill up and the whole side pouch to fill up. Um, and what I'll find is that having any extra room is good for buying little tre treasures and knickknacks that you want to bring home. If you want to buy more clothing, um, if you have like pairs of sunglasses, anything that you could stuff in there. Uh, having an e extra empty pouch over here, like dirty clothes can go in there before they are ready to be put back in the bag. And having those Ziploc bags is really good from separating the dirty clothes from the clean clothes in general. Um, so. I will close this all up. Um, the dimensions of this, ba this bag are really conducive to these Ziploc bags just stacking throughout the whole thing. And that's it. That is it. Turbo for life. <laughs> also, chime time for life. Live to love, chime time.